This is familiar. I like this seat. Yeah, you do. Do you? Do you the last time you were here was after your final game. Yeah. Do you, Do you remember? Do you remember when you were here? Do you remember what was happening? It's a little foggy. Yeah, because you were. I had a hangover. Yeah. I had my first hangover. Exactly right. But I was wondering once I left, why was it a nurse right there in the room when I? I'll just leave that alone. <laughs> I never we, convinced someone we, we had a nurse right away. Like, yeah, we took care of you, man. I was like, I got a hangover. The nurse came out of nowhere. Because you, you, don't, you don't drink, right? You're an athlete. You well, I, yeah, I'll drink. You drink, yeah, but not <laughs> that much. No, no I, I drink a lot. You do? <laughs> I have my own wine. I know you do now, yeah. but I mean, but when you're... You well, know. I never got drunk. No. Like that. Like, I've always been able to be like, cut off, it's time to go. Mm. But that night, after my last game, my entire career, I was like, to the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> went for it, and then and then you were like back. You're like Jimmy. I hope I'm okay. I'm sorry if I'm if I'm gonna be a little foggy. You were fantastic. I was. Yes. Don't remember. All right, good. You don't have to remember. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, you've been very busy in your retirement. By the way, you wrote a memoir. You have uh, fashion brands. You have a wine. You just said, and That's no big deal. You you bought a piece of an NBA team. That's You're part owner of the Utah Jazz. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. How? how I have a couple questions there. How, uh, what, how do you get involved with Utah Jazz? And, and how did that end up being? Uh, Ryan Smith, who's the owner of the Jazz, a uh, very good friend of mine. And uh, about around the same age, 41 years yeah. old. Um, and so playing golf as well. We, we golfed together. Yeah. Talked yeah. about doing business together one day. And he one day bought a team called the Utah Jazz, flew to my house and asked me to be a part of it. I love the name Utah Jazz. Robert, how's the jazz scene in uh, Utah? Does not exist. Exactly. <laughs> does, does not All exist. Star Weekend is in Utah this year. What's up? Oh, I'm down. Let's Talk go. to me. Oh, now, yeah, you know, Robert, what I'm I'll bring jazz to Utah. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's it. Let's That's do it. That's the way it works. Let's See, do it. That's the way it works. Yeah. Does it get frustrating for you as an owner of a team to watch the players and you're like, I don't know if I can watch them more because you know how to do it? Yeah, see, it's hard. It is, right? It's hard watching a game, period. Yeah, because you want to get in there and go, no, I'll show you how to do it. You do this and then that and then this. Because all you're thinking about is what you would do. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm, you hoop a lot, as, I, as I've heard. Yes. Right? Do true. you think about what you would do when you watch the NBA? Well, I think, wow, I'd like to do that. <laughs> <laughs> but are y'all rebuilding? Uh, we're reshaping. Yeah, <laughs> reshaping. We don't use rebuild in the NBA. <laughs> nice terminology. Reshaping, reshaping is shaping. good. That's right. Yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> You played basketball to uh, pick up with some of the biggest celebrities around. I have a picture of you playing with Adam Sandler. Uh, how's Adam's game? Adam's nice. Uh, so that was 2006, the day after I won my first championship. Um, no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> and I got a chance to spend some time with him in the back, and he told me that at the time they called him the white Dwayne Wade. Oh, because I was I was really known for my backboard shots around that time. I would come down and shoot off the glass, and yeah. Adam got a little two-hand backboard shot, and so he was calling him the white D Wade. Is that right? Park. Yeah. I got to ask him about that. How about the, this? You, with President Obama, you played a pickup game with President Obama. Uh, how was his game, first of all? Yeah. So legendary. It is legendary. Right? I uh, played a pickup game with with President Obama on his 49th birthday. Um, it was like a cryptic email that came through. I didn't really know if I was like, if, if I was just showing up and somebody was playing a trick on me or was it actually like president's birthday and we were going to hoop. At the all White it, House? At the White House. All it said was show up to the White House and bring your sneakers. And I was like, I'm going. I don't, <laughs> I don't care if this is I don't real know fake. who it is from, but I'm sure. <laughs> but, uh, he's, he's actually, he's not bad. Really? He's a lefty. He has a real, it's as smooth as he is. That's yeah. how smooth his game is. Really? How, yeah. How's yeah. Trump's game? Who? He <laughs> said, said, who? He said, who? Didn't get that email, huh? Yeah. No, I, didn't get, I didn't get that one. Yeah. <laughs> so, we're, so we're scrimmaging with President Obama, and he brings us all in, and he'd say, hey, I want you guys to play hard and play like this is a real game. And we looked around the court, and there's Secret Service all around the court. Yeah. And it's like, we, not, we can't touch you. You can't play a real game. What are you, you talking about? Yeah. You can't foul you for real. <laughs> so, Imagine if you did that. No, Joakim Noah did. He, he did? Oh, he picked him up full court, was ah. elbowing him and everything. It was great. As he should. That's why he never, never got invited no, back. No, you would <laughs> crush Biden. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> I don't get any ideas. That's not going to go down. We actually... <laughs> Joe, Joe, do not invite... Don't, I don't want to see this happen, please.
There's another uh, a player I'd like to get your take on. I'm curious if you think he's any good. He's played in the NBA celebrity game earlier this year. We have a clip. Take a look at this guy. Yes. And listen, you know what it is, Cass? I was just nervous. Oh, oh, Jack, oh, oh yes. you might that? need you. Make the extra pass. That's Jack. Oh, that's Jack. Oh! Oh! oh. That's that guy, so. Okay. So, initially, Perth. let me see the shot. Jack Harlow here. Uh, I so see, I see him turning Sean up. Sean Marion influence. <laughs> Sean Marion, that's what I was thinking. What do you think? Sean Marion, he shoot like yeah, shout out to Sean of, Marion from like the well. from the pelvis. Yeah, yeah, you shoot like like the ball's hot. Yeah, yeah, like he laid it up like it was like a hot plate in his hand. He was like, <laughs> well, sometimes that's when the lights are on. You know, you your form changes under pressure. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been restructured since. It's been restructured. Yeah, yeah. it went in. Yeah, it, well, what did you, it, it looks. Did you it like looks the clips? What did you think of the clips? It looks terrible. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You're yeah. lucky we don't have your highlights up here. Bro. Well, I mean, I wish we did. <laughs> I'm playing for my son all the time. Be like, look at your dad. Yeah, well, <laughs> watch your dad. Look at a good dad. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about the Redeem team. Yes, sir. Uh, congrats on this. Thanks for Thank doing you. this, uh, executive producing this. But uh, explain to people if they don't know what the Redeem team was. Can you? Yes. So 2004, um, the Olympics in Athens, Greece, um, which it was a tough time in the world around that time. Yeah. A lot of the star players in the NBA were opting out of playing in the Olympics mm. um, because of war things yep. going on in the world. And so they called on the younger guys, myself, Carmelo, LeBron, to join this team. And we joined this team with Allen Iverson, Tim Duncan, Stephon Marbury, and all these great you know, NBA players. Yeah. And so we were like, cool, we're about to go win us a gold medal. Um, and that didn't happen. We won a, we won a bronze. Uh, we we were pretty terrible as a team. Worst yeah. summer of my life, bro. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Worst summer of his life. It really bummed him out. But I mean, that, that was, uh, uh, that was, uh, yeah. Well, I it's mean, I think at the time we realized, one, that the, the world, like, was not catching up. They had caught up, right? We were playing against teams that had been playing together since they were 16 years old, maybe even younger. And so the chemistry that they had, we did not have. We, we got together uh, two weeks before in Jacksonville. And your own stars in your own right. So you're like, I don't really know who, how to play as a team with these right. guys. Right. Yeah. And, and then it's, it's the rules. It's FIBA rules. It's a FIBA game. You got to learn how to play their game. It's not, it's not the NBA game. Yeah. The rules are different. And so yeah. the ball is different. Everything yeah. is different. And so we got together and, like, it was a, it was, the practice was a tragedy. It was just. It was a separation between teams, too. Like, it was just a thrown together team. Yeah. And so to get to the Redeem team, um, enter Coach K from Duke, enter Jerry Colangelo, um, and they decided to build a team. And so we spent the next three summers in Vegas. Great. We had a great time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I could imagine. We, we, yeah. a, <laughs> we spent the next three summers in Vegas building, like, chemistry and building continuity and building a team. How's Coach K? Coach K is awesome. Yeah, like, he's just cool, right? He's just cool. And I didn't know he, he said <laughs> so many times. I said that on TV? It was great. Yeah, he got, he it was great. Up. He was like, these months? I was like, yes, I'm ready to go play. Really? Yeah. I didn't know. I, I, I didn't went know to go coach see him coach once, and he was just yelling. He was pointing at some clipboards, like, bah, 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 bah. And, then, and they lost the game. And I was like, oh, and then at the end, they go, do we want to go back and say how to go? I go, no. no. I don't ever want to see that guy. It scares me. He frightens me. That was him at, like, so our games was at 9 p.m. We were in China in 2008. And that was him at 9 a.m., at, at walkthrough and shoot around. He was right? fired up. He's real deal. Ready to go. Yeah, and, uh, but so, all of you guys were. Yeah, well, we, came... after losing, we had, a, it's called the redeem team. We had to redeem ourselves. And you got the goal. Yeah, we got the goal. That's the way to do it. Gold yeah. medal. Yeah. Okay. And it's fun to have the Browns too. Yeah. So I thought, it, we thought it was a great time to be able to tell this story. Yeah. Um, obviously, um, you know, our brother Kobe is not here, but to have his presence and his voice in this documentary, uh, to have Bron presence and Melo presence and Coach K, like all the voices uh, to tell this story. And this was pre-Instagram. This was right when Twitter probably popped off. Yeah. No one really knows about the Redeem team and, you know, what all came about to get to that, to get to that place. So I think they're going to be surprised, and it's a pretty good documentary. Uh, I want to show everyone a clip. Uh, here is a clip from the Redeem team. Take a look. Well, first half was disjointed uh, because of foul trouble. Now there were more minutes and people were playing uh, uh, different roles. They bring in Wayne Wade and Darren Williams a little earlier than expected. Sometimes you feel like you've been there before, you've done this before. Like I knew I was gonna have a big game. And when I got in, I got right to it. 
Way to the basket, was inside. Beautiful move. There's Wade with the steal. Not only did I get two fouls early, Kobe did too. And that set the stage for D-Wade. Yeah, come on. That's how you do it right there. <laughs> Dwayne Wade, everybody. The Redeem Team begins streaming on Netflix tomorrow. We'll be right back with a performance from Quavo and Takeoff. Stick around, everybody. Hey, hey.